friends here are going to draw an ATV. Yeah, we're going to draw an off-road vehicle. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need a marker or something to draw with, some paper, and... Something to call with? Something to call it with. <laughs> okay, you ready to start? Yes. Is that your magical art wand? Wish I was to go showing. <laughs> yes. Let's first draw the wheels. We're going to draw them kind of big. I'm going to start over here. I'm going to draw about that size on the edge of our paper so that we can draw it big. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna draw that same size circle on the right. Yeah, good job. On the inside of each circle, let's draw another circle. And we'll do the same over here on the back wheel. And we can also draw a smaller circle and color that in. Let's also give it really cool tread. We're gonna give our ATV off-road tread. So I'm gonna go around each of the circles and add a little bump all the way around. Now you can pause the video to take extra time and add that tread to your drawings, but let's keep going. Let's draw the bottom of our ATV. I'm gonna start kind of in the middle of the wheel and I'm going to draw a line, and I'm going to go up a little higher towards the back. Now let's draw the front. I'm going to start about in the middle, but on the top of it, top of the wheel, and we're going to draw a diagonal line that goes up. And over here, we're going to draw another diagonal line that comes up too. I'm going to draw it going back. Now let's draw the top of the hood. I'm going to draw another diagonal line coming back. And then we're going to draw a short diagonal line down. Now we're going to draw a line that goes all the way across to the back of the vehicle. Cool. All right, now let's come up here. We're going to draw the roll bar or the cage on top. We're going to come in just a little bit and draw a diagonal line up. And it can be kind of short. It doesn't have to be long. And we're going to do the same thing on the front. Draw a diagonal line going up, but going in. Next, let's connect those two lines together at the very top. And let's also draw, I'm going to draw a diagonal line going this way on the front, and also that way on the back, same direction. And then let's connect those two lines also. This is for the roof. I like turning my paper sideways. Sometimes that makes it easier to draw. Next, let's draw the fenders. We're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw a line coming towards the back of the car or vehicle, and then we're gonna draw it coming down to the very bottom. Now let's add thickness. We're gonna draw another line right above. And then towards the bottom, watch this, I'm gonna curve, but I'm gonna get further away towards the bottom. That looks really cool. Now let's do the same thing on the back. Gonna draw a diagonal line coming in and down. And then let's repeat the same step that we did on the front. Draw another one on top, and then towards the bottom, we're gonna get further away. All right, now let's add the rocker or the part that's on the bottom of the vehicle. We're gonna draw another diagonal line. And then right at the end, I'm gonna draw a short one down. Let's make this one four doors. So right here in the middle of our roof, we'll split it in half, and then we're gonna draw a line that comes all the way down and connects to the rocker. Let's also draw another line here, but it just starts on this line and then comes down. Yes. Next, let's draw the doors. We'll start here on this short little diagonal line. We're gonna extend it down and then connect it to the, to the uh, fender. Yeah. Now over here, let's draw a short diagonal line that connects to the fender also. Then we're gonna come back to the front door and we're gonna draw, start here, and we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down and connects to that middle section. Then we're gonna imagine it going through and coming out the back for the back door. But let's draw another line right here and then we'll go imagine that going through also yeah, that's a good spot. I like how high you drew it. And then right here, we're going to go 
back and connect to the fender also. What are we missing? The seats. The seats. Let's draw the front seat first. We're going to draw upside down U shape. Yes. Then we're going to imagine the front of that seat coming through the door and out the bottom. So this is an opening in our vehicle. Yeah, right there. And then I'm going to draw the bottom of the seat coming forward. It looks like a backwards L and then we'll connect it to the floor. Let's do the same thing over here for the back seat. We're going to draw another upside down U that matches the first one. We can draw it right about there. And then we can also draw the seat coming forward and then connect to the floor. Yours is different. It's a, got a smaller opening. So maybe we just add a line right there for the, yeah, for the end of the seat. That's perfect. Next, let's add the steering wheel. We're going to draw two lines, two diagonal lines going up from the door and then we'll connect the top of the two lines. Now what are we missing? The shocks. Yeah, the big suspension. Let's draw big springs. We're going to draw two diagonal lines coming down, connecting the wheel to the fender. And then we're going to add diagonal lines or lines going across all the way up. Let's do the same thing on the back. Draw two diagonal lines connecting the wheel to the fender. Oh, I like how big those are. <laughs> then we can add those lines going across also. Now let's draw the headlight. We'll draw a line coming in and up to the fender. Let's draw the tail lights. We'll come in also and then connect to the fender. Let's also add more of a suspension thing here. We'll draw a diagonal line coming down. Let's also add a fire extinguisher on the back of the roll cage. We'll just add a rectangle shape. And then two lines for the strap that's connecting it to the vehicle. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our ATV. But we still need to color it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> this part we're going to fast forward. But at the end, you can pause the video to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Austin, give me five. Did you have fun coloring your drawing? Yeah. It turned out awesome. I hope our friends are going to color their drawings too. But you don't have to color it like we did. No, you could change it. You could also add a background. Like mountains and trees. Oh, yeah. That would be way cool. We also use markers to color our drawings, but you can use whatever you have at home. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your ATV. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you have fun adding more things to the background. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.